Uh, Mr. Klein, your response. Uh, Judith, my number one priority, if elected to the State Assembly, of course, would be crime. But you know something? I feel at this point in time, we're really not allocating and spending our crime dollars properly. One thing that I always hear about, we had it years ago, I know Mayor Giuliani mentioned it, but we haven't implemented yet, is to go back to the system of the old cop on the beat. Every time I lead with a positive, you live up to your, uh, well, it's Excuse just okay. Me. It's just a matter of, I, I, he walked up here, everything's fine. <laughs> I would, you showed Richard your plaque, I would like to That's give it. you, I would like to give you this, it's plastic viewers, don't get nervous. This is the Hatchet Man <laughs> Award. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is one that you should pridefully hang up on your wall because the fact of the matter is every time I lead with a positive development, you lead with a negative. It's an appropriate counter because it is all you know. There should have been an initiative and a vote for more schools and monies and a real push for a Marshall Plan. Congressman Engel's vote went to build more prisons. You know what, we'll let everybody go around on the same question. Congressman, uh, do you have a, a response to that uh, uh, statement by... Um well, but while Mr. Seabrook has been absent for, for a good number of his votes and, and missed a lot of votes and, and, and doesn't show up for work and asks for a promotion, uh, I've been fighting the fight for education and for the important things. What is the difference between you and Mr. Rivera? Well, the difference for me is basically more the experience. I, like I said, I have over 17 years working in the community. I started off at the age of 17. When I was 17, Joel was five somewhere around their years of age. When you grow up in community involvement, in community activism, and just being one that is concerned about the community at large, this shapes your character, this shapes how you're going to be within your, your public or private sector. Why have you accepted both the Democratic and Republican lines in this up and coming election? I've always been a Democrat, and I will always be a Democrat. I was the Democratic district leader. In fact, in 1994, I ran the field operation in the 75th Assembly District for the statewide Democratic ticket of, of Karl McCall, Karen Bernstein, and Mario Cuomo, which you were invisible. You disappeared. And your father. Can you honestly say that if elected, you will stand up to your father and your brother in opposing them, and if necessary, actively fight against them on issues like these, which directly affect the 80th Assembly District? Absolutely. I honor my father's 35 years of public service. However, I value my independence, and I've um, been taught to think independently. I've, exp I've shown that with my, my position on the filtration, and I, too, agree that Meals on Wheels um, does appear to be a hit and, uh, cut to our seniors, so it's another issue which I don't agree on. I spent 40 days in jail because a judge in Puerto Rico uh, decided that... Uh, the sentence that they needed, that he, that he felt uh, was just, was 40 days in jail. Uh, I stood up for uh, an issue that I feel is very important, personally, as a Puerto Rican. I would not go to jail for it. I certainly wouldn't go to jail during the budget season. Do the job that you're elected to do, and then uh, advocate if you must, protest if you must, but do it within the confines of the law. Is that what the future of this city is, is creating using stimulus money to create construction jobs? Well, the, the, the President's Economic Stimulus Package specifically speaks to building our economies, building our communities for the long term. I was really, to be honest with you, skeptic about uh, politics for the same reason that the television audience often uh, is a skeptic about politicians because many promises are made and nothing really happens. And that's why I'm running. I'm running really out of frustration.